Grace Kelly was a renowned actress who later on went on to become the Princess of Monaco. She was born in Philadelphia, to parents who were self-made and earned recognition in their respective professions. Grace had an innate interest for acting and from her early childhood she dreamed of becoming an actress. However, her family did not approve of acting and modeling as a career, and she had to embark on this journey all by herself. She managed to enroll at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts and after completing her course at the Institute, she joined the Broadway. She had acting skills but she did not succeed at the Broadway. Soon she realized her true calling and made a shift in career by opting for roles in television. Her talent did not go unnoticed and she was soon offered roles in movies. Her first lead role was in the film High Noon where she was cast alongside Gary Cooper. Eventually, she climbed the ladder of success and marked her position in the film industry. TL. However, when she was at the zenith of her career, she entered the wedlock with Prince Rainier III of Monaco. She then became the Princess of Monaco, and with the title came many responsibilities and obligations, owing to which she had to forego her acting career. Childhood B. Early Life she was born to John B. Kelly, Sr. and Margaret Catherine Ma ja, on November 12, 1929, in Philadelphia. Her father was a sports personality and won three gold medals at the Olympics for rowing. Her mother was a teacher of physical education at the University of Pennsylvania. Grace had three siblings named Margaret, John Jr. and Elizabeth. She received education from institutions such as Ravenhill Academy and Stevens School. During her school days, she participated in many fashion events and also acted in a few plays. After completing her studies, she decided to pursue a career in acting and thus enrolled at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, New York, in 1947. Simultaneously, she carried on modeling for earning a livelihood. In her last performance at the Academy, she played the role of Tracy Lord in the play The Philadelphia Story. Career after graduating from the drama school, she embarked into a career in Broadway, and her first play there was The Father in 1949. However, after failed attempts at the Broadway, she directed her career into Hollywood. She acted in a few television shows and in 1951, she appeared in a minor role in the film 14 Hours. In the sets of this film, her acting potentials were noticed by actor Gary Cooper. In 1952, she got her major breakthrough into Hollywood when she starred opposite actor Gary Cooper in the film High Noon. This film earned her huge acclamation as well as a seven-year contract with the media company Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer MGM. The following year, she worked in the film Magambo along with actors Clark Gable and Ava Gardner. In this film her acting was critically acclaimed and even won her a Golden Globe Award. She then worked in a television play The Way of an Eagle and soon after, she earned a role in director Alfred Hitchcock's film Dial M for Murder which was based on Frederick Knott's play by the same name. Her next project was The Bridges at Tokori where she worked with actor William Holden. In 1954, she worked in the film Rear Window, which was her second collaboration with director Alfred Hitchcock. The same year, she worked in the film The County L Girl where she played the role of Georgie Elgin. The film also cast Bing Crosby and William Holden. She starred in the film Green Fire in 1954, directed by Andrew Martin. The following year, she worked in the film To Catch a Thief which was released in 1955, and this too was directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Kelly abandoned acting while she was at the pinnacle of her career. Her marriage to Prince Rainier III of Monaco obliged her to renounce the American citizenship, and her works were banned in her adopted homeland. Major Works the film which became a milestone in Kelly's career was The County L Girl, where she portrayed the character of Georgie Elgin, who was distressed by her husband's drinking habits. Her co-stars in the movie were Bing Crosby and William Holden. This film earned her the Academy Award in the Best Actress category. Awards v. Achievements In 1954, she became a recipient of the Golden Globe Award in the Best Supporting Actress category. The same year, she won the Academy Award for the film The County L Girl in the Best Actress category. Her role in the film's Dial M for Murder, Rear Window, and The County L Girl, she was awarded the New York Film Critics Circle Award in the Best Actress category. Personal Life v. Legacy Grace Patricia Kelly married Prince Rainier III on April 19, 1956, and thereafter she became the Princess of Monaco. 
The couple was blessed with three children Caroline, Princess of Hanover, Albert II, Prince of Monaco, Princess Stephanie of Monaco. After her marriage she abandoned her acting career and embarked into philanthropic works. She founded the charitable organization named Amade Mondiale, which was also recognized by the UN as an NGO. In 1964, she established the Princess Grace Foundation to help the local craftsmen. She was also a supporter of the organization La Leche League which promotes breastfeeding. On September 13, 1982, this Princess of Monaco breathed her last, when she met with an accident on her way back to Monaco from her residence located in Rock Angel. The hospital where she was admitted was later renamed after her, as the Princess Grace Hospital Center.